welcome back to my channel and today I have this makeup look for you guys <laughs> so I posted this picture on Instagram and kittycat 82 underscore and sochi underscore torico um, requested it so here it is for you dope so I'm using these three products that came in my April Boxy charm. I did it on a boxy and that was my, I think that was my last video that I did yeah, I think it's really, it looks really, really glamorous um, this lipstick does dry completely matte, it feels really nice and it looks like um not like a metallic red brown lipstick. Um, it's really 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 pretty. So, yeah, so if you guys want to see how I got this look, then just keep on watching. All of my makeup products that I'll be using in this video will be listed down below if you want to check them out. So before I begin, I am gonna prime my eyes. I'll be using this really really light brown as my transition color. And I'm going to apply that all over my crease and a little bit above my crease. This is my Morphe 35N palette. I'm going to take this Cocoa Bear eyeshadow from Makeup Geek and I'm going to apply that all over my crease. Then to define my eye and my crease, I'll be using this darker brown and I'm going to apply that on my crease but not as much as the other colors if it make any sense <laughs> then I'm just gonna blend all of those colors together so I won't have any harsh lines from the same eyeshadow palette I'm gonna take this really light beige color and I'm gonna apply that all over my eyelid and I'm gonna create a really soft cut crease so I can put my next color on top of that eyeshadow this is brown hypnotic eyeshadow from your minerals it is a loose eyeshadow and I'll be applying it on top of that eyeshadow that I just used. I did wet my brush so the color can be a little bit more pigmented. And this eyeshadow has a lot of fallout. Then I'm just blending my other eyeshadow a little bit more. And using a really light beige color, I'm gonna apply that on my brow bone. Taking my liquid eyeliner, I'm gonna do a really dramatic eyeliner. That is just the way I like it. You can do a thinner eyeliner, it's up to you. So yeah, I'm just gonna fast forward this part because I do take long doing my eyeliner. Using this black lash primer from Blink, I'm gonna prime my eyelashes. Then I'm gonna do a co another coat of regular mascara. Then I'm gonna apply my eyelashes. These are from Red Cherry and I'm using the dual eyelash glue. And I'm just gonna wipe away that excess eyeshadow that just fell off. So I'm gonna prime my face and I'm gonna take my Milani um, Conceal Plus Perfect 2 in 1 foundation. And I really, really love this foundation, but it's really, really oily on my face. I don't know why, but I, I love it so much. I love how it feels. Then I'm gonna highlight and contour my face. And I'm still learning in this part, so um, sorry if I do anything wrong. And I'm gonna blend it with a sponge. Then I'm gonna use my Wet n Wild contouring palette. And I'm just gonna contour the hollows of my cheekbones and the sides of my forehead from the same palette i'm just gonna use a light shade i'm gonna apply that on top of the concealer that i just used and i'm just gonna wait for it to set and meanwhile that sets i'm gonna go on top of the visible lash glue and i'm just applying more mascara and i'm gonna apply mascara also on my bottom lashes i'm just dusting off all that excess powder And with the translucent um, powder, I'm gonna set my foundation. I'll be highlighting my face with this Wet n Wild Illuminating Palette. And also apply some blush to my cheekbones. I'm gonna use this Ultra Liquid Lipstick in Honolulu. This came in my boxy charm, and this one feels really, really nice on the lips. It's like a brown, red, metallic finish, and I really love it. And I'm just gonna conceal under my lips and that's how it looks 
Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I will see you guys till next time. That's what I'm